Hey everyone, it's Marianne from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. So I want to debunk a little bit more uh, messaging that's coming out of the mayor's office. And this is repeatedly because they keep using the same talking points in all their press statements coming from Jonah Allen. And so this is this needs to be stopped. So when it's not true, we need to debunk it and stop telling the lie because then the lie becomes a truth and then keep people keep carrying it on and, and it's not real, right? So what is the mayor saying? The mayor's office keeps saying Aetna's premium free. Well, so is senior care. It is. He keeps saying that, uh, that Aetna has an annual out-of-pocket maximum of $1,500 a year. But we don't have any expenses in senior care once you've met the deductible. That's coming up next. So I don't need a $1,500 maximum out-of-pocket if I don't have any out-of-pockets. Uh, the deductible. Aetna has a $0 uh, deductible for 2023. Well, that's because we've already paid the deductible in senior care. And the judge said you couldn't charge retirees two deductibles for two different plans. That once they paid their annual deductible, you couldn't have a second deductible. So you would be doing something illegal. It's not really an advertising point. So you say your deductible for 2024 is $150. Well, our deductible this year in senior care was $226. Um, but understand something. After we pay the deductible for senior care, there are no costs. In Aetna, there's a cost for everything. So please, Jonah, tell me. Mayor Adams, tell me. How is it possible Aetna is cheaper than senior care? It's not. <laughs> uh, you say Aetna has $0 co-pays for primary care physicians. Senior care has no co-pays. Then you say, well, there's only $15 co-pays for labs and other specialists. But senior care has no co-pays. <laughs> Um, then you say, well, it's got extra perks and you can get rides and hospitalization uh, meals delivered to you when you get home. And um, you have hearing and, um, and uh, hearing screenings and I think vision screenings. But guess what? I get that in my union welfare fund. That's not a perk to me. And I don't need meals delivered to me from the hospital after I'm out of the hospital. I haven't been to the hospital. That's only a perk if I'm in the hospital. If I don't go to the hospital, it's not a perk. Oh, and guess what? There's prior authorizations with those two. I don't think they're telling you that. Um, so most of my doctors don't accept the Medicare Advantage plan and the rides that you want to give me really aren't going to take me anywhere if I don't have a doctor to go to. <laughs> so I think we pretty much debunked this today. I mean, there's a whole bunch more in here, but I think you're kind of getting the gifs and I want to keep this brief. Sorry, Jonah. Sorry, Mayor, uh, Mayor Adams. This plan is not cheaper than senior care. Keep telling the lie because it is a lie. Time to tell the truth, okay? It really is time to tell the truth. Aetna Medicare Advantage is not cheaper for anyone. And unfortunately, that every two years, the uh, Aetna and the MLC in the city of New York can go through the prior authorizations, uh, review and analyze them and determine whether or not they want to add them back or put more in or whatever. So you're not really helping us because right now we have none of this in Medicare. Your EOC talks about all these appeals processes and how to handle denials and delays in care and um, all this oversight needed. And we don't need that in Medicare traditional either. So you're putting all these things in place because you already know bad things are going to happen. Sorry, you're selling us something that's really not, not worth, you know, the paper it's written on. So have a great night.